The next time you're coming down O'Connell Street, stop for a minute to have a look at some of the bullet holes that are still in Daniel O'Connell's memorial. Underneath Patriotism's shield, you'll see a dark spot, which is a bullet hole. And up in her clavicle, or her collarbone, you'll see one. And in the Maid of Erin, there's one in her ankle, and one in her harp, and in her bicep muscle. And all over Daniel O'Connell, he's covered in them as well. The British soldiers may have been training their weapons, setting them for 200 yards to see would it be off, left or right, or maybe they were just acting the maggot, because they're there for days, and men do get bored. And you might turn to your comrade and say, here, Charlie, I bet you I can shoot that statue. There were a, an awful lot of English accents fighting on our side in the Rising. Because in January 1916, conscription was introduced into Britain, and many men took the opportunity to come and live on the Plunkett Farm in Larkfield in Kimmage. People like Johnny O'Connor, who had the nickname Blimey O'Connor, because he's Blimey this and Blimey that. Here we are on Dublin's vibrant Moor Street, where Nurse Elizabeth O'Farrell brought the surrender order from number 15 Moor Street down to a British officer and said that General Pierce was ready to surrender to General Lowe. Elizabeth O'Farrell can be seen in a famous photograph with Patrick Pierce, who's handing his sword over to General Lowe, who's standing beside his son, John. John Lowe changed his name to John Loader and became a very famous Hollywood celebrity. He appeared in many films and married Hedy Lamarr, who was one of the most famous actresses of her time, as famous today as somebody like Julia Roberts. Here we are at City Hall, where there's a relatively new plaque erected on the 90th anniversary of the Rising. What's beautiful about the plaque is the number of women that you can see who definitely fought down here in 1916. Kathleen Barrett, Bridget Brady, Bridget Davis, Dr. Kathleen Lynn, who took over when Sean Connolly and Sean O'Reilly were killed in action. Helena Maloney, a great actor from the Abbey Theatre who was heavily involved and in fact was the person who introduced Countess Markovitz to the cabal down at Liberty Hall. Annie and Emily Norgrove, 17 and 19 years of age when they fought down here in 1916. They were actually joined by their very own father, George Norgrove, who walked as a reinforcement from the general post office to help out here in City Hall. There's also Jenny Shanahan, who was only a slip of a thing, 15 years of age, when she was fighting down here for a socialist republic in 1916.